Franklin. Welcome to administration. This is Vicki Mason. Hello. Vic, go ahead. Hi, I'm Vicki Mason. I've been here for 23 years now. I love working here. I love having this family in addition to my, my own family. I'm married, have uh, nine grandchildren now. Um, but what I do here at the hospital is I'm an administrative assistant here in admin, and I also do the credentialing uh, for all the medical staff, making sure the licenses are, are, are proper and, and so forth. We're glad to have Vicki here. Really, really important position because we want to make sure that all of our providers have the proper licenses, that they're credentialed to do the things that they're supposed to do, that they have the privilege to do the things that they want to do. So really, really important piece of our organization. And Vicki's been here a long time. She's actually certified in medical staff credentialing, so we're really, really happy to have her. Next on our list is Michelle Lay. And Michelle is my executive assistant. And so, Michelle? Hi, I'm Michelle. I live here in Sullivan. I've worked here a whole two months, and I'm learning a lot as I go, and everybody's very helpful. I'm glad to work here. So this is, uh, Lynette retired, as everybody knows, after, gosh, 30-some years. And so Michelle has a, a big seat to fill, but she's really doing well, so we're glad to have her here. Most of you in nursing services are familiar with Lori Ressler, our chief nursing officer. Lori? Hello, I'm Lori. I've been here uh, almost 10 years and I am the mother of a teenage child and I have six grandkids. So welcome to administration. Also inside of administration, we have quality. And so some of you may not know Amy Miller. Amy has a very long title. She's the director of risk, quality, and Compliance, one of our favorite topics. So, Amy Miller. Hello. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm here. If you have any concerns or questions about the quality of care, though we know it's exceptional, check out our recent Press Ganey store scores if you haven't. Um, but anytime you have any concerns about anything going on or what's the right thing to do, um, complying with rules, regulations, give me a call. I'd be happy to help you out with that or look up if we need to. Um, when I'm not at work, I'm trying to coordinate two teenage boys who drag home whatever pets they can. The newest is our uh, pet duck and chick that my son actually thinks is a house or house pet. So working on that in my off time. Next in administration, you've, you've met some of the uh, accounting folks, but Denise Hart is our director of HR and Denise is looking lovely after returning from Sunfield, Florida. So she's putting the rest of us to shame. Denise. So you want to know what I do? Is that what you're asking? I do lots of things. Actually, right now I'm working on our employee field day and getting sponsors for that. We're really excited about that. Um, I deal with employees um, hiring, um, counseling, benefits. Uh, really, my goal is to make this a great place to work. So that's what I'm working on right now for all those people who want to be fit and fun. Next is Nancy. Nancy York is uh, Denise's right-hand man. Nance, introduce yourself. Tell us a little something about you. Hi, I'm Nancy. Um, I'm one of those people that's actually from Illinois. So um, I'm a little different than some, yeah, that's what they say. Um, I, my main uh, deal is um, uh, employment, uh, hiring and um, distributing uh, applications, and then of course back up for Denise on any other thing that we need to do. One of the last people you're gonna meet inside administration is Leslie Lentz. And Leslie is the Director of Community Engagement, and this is Les's office out in the main hallway. Les? Hi, I'm Leslie. I'm the Director of Community Engagement and Marketing, and I've been at the hospital for 10 years. Uh, the last seven years, um, in this position as Marketing Director, I have two grown boys. One of my boys um, has a pretty cool job. He is an FBI Special Agent, just as a little bit of trivia about me. I'm married. My husband is retired from Indiana State University. And in my free time, I like to read and take long walks.
Well, we're back in my office now, and you've had an opportunity to meet all of the support staff here in administration, a really wonderful group of people I've worked with for a very long time, and administration is just a fun place to work. So, um, just a little bit about me. I've been here since 1997, and I know that there are some of you out there who've been here just as long or longer than I have, and half of my career as the chief nursing officer, half as the CEO. And in that time, I've now got two teenage kids. My son is a sophomore at Purdue, and my daughter is now a sophomore at Sullivan High School. I don't live in Sullivan anymore. I live in Bruceville, so I, I make the drive every morning, but I have to bring Grace into school anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, a lot of people say, well, you know, gosh, what does the CEO do? And so I had a, a friend one time when I was working as a chief nursing officer, one of the guys who was my CEO came into this position and he was interviewed by the paper and we made fun of him ever since that interview. And, and when the guy said, well, you know, tell us a little bit about your job, David proceeded to say, well, you know, that's a really great question because I don't know exactly what I do. And really, some days it feels like that. Some days are very, very structured that I'm going from meeting to meeting to meeting. Some days your calendar is very structured, but there's lots of interruptions and you don't even do the things that are on your calendar. And some days your days are free, so you're working on catch up and responding to emails, responding to complaints every once in a while that happen, not very often. And then all of the pro provider contracting is actually done through my office. And so there's a, a fair bit of provider interaction that needs to happen and recruiting, retention, those sorts of things are done out of my office. And so sometimes I can be very, very busy, too busy. Some days there's a lull where I'm able to finally catch up on my 1500 emails. And then sometimes, you know, you just never know what you're gonna walk into. And so it's what makes the, makes the job fun because every day is a little bit different and there's nothing in particular that, that makes the day uh, slow and, and boring. So one of the things that I really like to do personally, I, I'm an avid flower gardener, not much for veggies because the wild animals eat them, but I do love to flower garden and I love to travel. And so for those of you that have been in my office, one of the favorite things that people do when they come in here is that they love to look at my maps. And these maps have been Christmas gifts from the folks that I work with in administration. So one of them is the world map of all the places that I've been and my favorite destinations inside world travel. And then I also got a US map. And so I've marked the places that I've been and the things that I love to do. And then finally, I'm a big fan of the national parks and love to, to visit all the national parks. And so I've scratched off a lot of the national parks here in the US. So uh, sometime when you're down in administration, stop by and meet us, take a look in my office, check out my maps. We'd love to entertain you. Thank you department heads. So now we'll walk up the hall here and meet the accounting staff. Hi, I'm Lindsay Hopkins. I'm the payroll specialist here at the hospital. I've been here a little over a year and a half. I am married. I've been married for 19 years. We have two children. Um, our son will be going to college this fall. Our daughter will be going, well, will be a sophomore in high school this fall. And these are my two doggies. So we'll go down to Robin Stanifer and Accounts Payable, and Robin will tell you about her, what she does here, and about her background and family. Okay. Hi, I'm Robin. I've been here about 25 years now. Um, I did payroll for many of those years, but now I'm over here in Accounts Payable, and this is where all the bills get paid, so I really enjoy it here. I've enjoyed so much watching all everyone come into the hospital go from a CNA to a nurse to marry to having babies um, it's just been such a pleasure being here all these years and I really enjoy it I have my husband Rick retired from here uh, he was in maintenance and we have three boys and three or six grandkids sorry six six eight grandbabies so anyway thanks okay we'll go down now Director of Accounting, Jen Ridgeway. And Jen is really valuable to me and um, helping keep our accounting department going. 
and she has a lot of experience here at the hospital does a really great job. Hi, my name is Jen. I've been here at the hospital 20 years this year. I'm the director of accounting and I've worked in numerous different roles over the last 20 years. I love my job and I'm married with um, a grown son and my youngest will be a senior in high school next year. My name is Jim Bishop. I'm the CFO here at the hospital. I'm in charge of all the uh, accounting operations. Um, I have about nine departments reporting to me. Um, my job is to make sure the hospital sound financially. We have cash in the bank and pay our vendors um, that we're making money so we can buy equipment, uh, get pay increases, all those things that are really important to us. Um, every year we have an annual audit um, and we do a Medicare cost report. We do the budgets. We have a lot of things going on. Um, I've, I've been here about three years, moved here from Tennessee and my wife and I really like it. We're small town folks. We have um, a son that's 29 and a daughter that's 25. They both live in Tennessee and um, also work in healthcare field. Um, so we're a healthcare family. My wife does uh, billing for um, healthcare as well from home.